Welcome back to another Drecker Fest review video. On tap, got your tongue. A deluxe trail mix sour in collaboration with Lua Brewing down in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, incredible brewery, by the way. Um, shout out to them. Deluxe trail mix sour. Deluxe trail mix sour. We're in for a Oh, look delicious. at that. I did not expect it to look like that. I was expecting it to be darker with like, I don't know. You, you were thinking raisins and peanuts, weren't I you? was thinking raisins and peanuts. Oh, oh he's good. <laughs> it is a beautiful color. Wow. What do you this call this look color? Like a trail mix. Um, I would call this. Uh, Pomplamousse. Magenta. Mauve. Grapefruit. Ooh, mauve. This is grapefruit. Grapefruit color. Pomplamousse. Are you high? Uh, don't answer that. Um, <laughs> all right. First taste answer of enough. the deluxe trail mix sour Cheers. here, boys. How does something Ooh. so red Wait. taste like nuts? Dude, no. It tastes like pretzels. It tastes like nuts. It tastes like a campfire. I smell the peanut butter as I put it I to know. my face. I know. But it's... N what the... See, hell? honestly... The peanut butter is not what I was See, getting. No, I smell, I smell peanut and chocolate. Wow! Holy! But then the flavor is sweet. The flavor is like it is sweet, very sweet, like it's salt-covered raspberries or strawberries or like yes, so, like dried, dried raspberries that have like intermixed no, with no, chocolate-covered cherry. You nailed it. Oh yes, yep. that's yeah, it. that's it. It sh it should not be this oh. color, man. <laughs> all right, well, you, you boys keep tasting here. Um, so, again, with all of these, we are going to be tying in the title of the beer, which are all cat-themed, being Drecker 9, Nine Lives for Cats. Awesome. Beautiful can art across all of them, by the way. Um, so, Got Your Tongue comes from Cats Got Your Tongue. And this is when someone is at a loss for words mm. or unusually quiet. Uh, some have suggested that ancient kings actually would punish those who displease them by cutting off their tongues and feeding them to their pet cats. Hence the origin of Cats Got Your Tongue. Kind of fucked up, but whatever. Well, I'm I mean, into the, it. The, the picture, yes, the the picture, the picture pretty, highlights pretty well. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> um, okay, so anything different upon second taste before we get into the topic? Definitely. It, or sorry, go ahead. It's contradictory. It is a uh, dichotomy of aroma versus flavor. And I am just... I'm just trying to compartmentalize what I'm experiencing. Yeah, upon talking through it and the second uh, the second sip, like I, I can taste more of the fruit sweet versus like just the chocolate and like pe peanuts that I that I first tasted. It's interesting because I actually it was like a little bit more rich to me second go around, but I'm a hundred percent with Jordan. This is like a total separation where on my nose it's like savory yeah, peanut yeah. butter, whereas mm. the sip it is just like. It's not overly sweet like a lot of the, you know, Drecker Sours can be when yeah. they get a little bit out of bounds, which, I mean, that's their thing. They kill it. <laughs> they like There's to push. they keep making them. <laughs> they're pushing boundaries. <laughs> but we like this that. one isn't like, compared to some of the ones I'm sure we'll try here throughout this experiment, I think this one is like a good balance of sweet and savory. This it, is incredible. Yeah, it rides that line very nicely. I am very much a savory fan of of when it, whether it's margaritas or beer or like whatever it is i like more of a savory smoky sometimes interesting off color note and if you if you hit me with a little bit of like jalapeno or some spice and a margarita <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, baby it's it's a new box in your brain that you got to create but once you've got it created it's a fun box to kind of like fill up in terms of like different fun beers box. you can try nice. it's a fun box <laughs> I'm gonna bring this on my next hike instead of actual trail mix, I think. <laughs> Stay hydrated. I'm just on a different trail, guys. <laughs> I'm on a whole new God trail. God bless Jim Gaffigan. Uh, just the road less traveled. Where's donuts in their trail mix? It's the donut <laughs> ham <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> oh, all right, Isha. Cat's got your tongue. Okay, got your tongue. What's your uh, hockey topic you wanna dive into off of this? <laughs> well, based on the meaning of the saying, I have to go with Dean Evison's unwilling to make adjustments during the playoffs. 
it's not just the playoffs, man. Like I guess it's all like season. Regular but like, season, his lines could not be more cookie cutter decided already. We already know going into the season, we knew weeks ago what the lines were going to be to start the year, yeah. with the exception of one or two guys maybe shifting and moving. And that actually kind of ties in a little bit to mine too, and we'll circle back to Dean. But just Marco Rossi still getting zero, absolutely zero looks in the top six, even in the preseason, which again, I'm fine starting him on the third line. Why on earth can't you even try him? And of course, we've got two more preseason games left as we record this, so that'll probably blow up in my face and it'll it's happen. It's still not enough. <laughs> it's still not enough. This is the time where you're supposed to take chances, try things out. The games yeah. don't matter. They, they don't matter at all. <sighs> what? What do, does this stem, f- stem from? Like, is Dean an old school guy? Is he, uh, I'm comfortable with it, it worked, might as well stick with it and evolve, or uh, afraid to take chances? What is it? I think he's a little bit stubborn and afraid to take chances. See, I, so I think that's where it started, and I think now it's shifted more to what Jordan said, where it's, he's comfortable with it because it's happened two years in a row, the exact same thing, losing, and... There's been zero repercussions for it. Bill Guerin has only extended his contract, and he's like, oh, Bill doesn't give a shit. Why should I? Mm. We'll keep rolling it back. What do you think Bill sees, though? Like, what's the... At this point, what's the, you know, catch? That the guys don't hate him? I don't know. I don't know. It's, It's definitely... I don't know if it's been overextended and they've kept it going too long, but originally he was the perfect coach for the transition that the team needed to take when they got rid of Zach Parisi, when they got rid of Ryan Suter and cleared up all the toxicity in the locker room. He is absolutely a player's coach. I was going to say, The players love him. Fans love to watch him beat the wheels off of Darby after every win. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not that he's a bad coach. It's really more so that if he could just have a little bit more flexibility, not be so rigid, whether it's with line combos or with game strategy, especially as Isha led with in the playoffs, I don't have any issue with Dean at that point. It's Mm. just if we keep seeing the same thing over and over and if we get the same thing this year, 2023, 2024, that is when I'm going to kind of be ready to riot. Man, I <laughs> I'm a Cooper. I'm a Dino apologist. I <laughs> I'm a bleeding heart apologetic for Dean. Uh, my, I my, I like his style. You're, I you're like just his a big mind. Fan of the Office, aren't you? <laughs> no, well, yeah, but not like he's just. I think he's the best we've had in a long time in terms of uh, a strong technical game plan, a strong players appreciation game plan, and he plays the Office well. I I think. I, I really think he, uh, right now, it's like, you know, the okay. lesser of the evils. But up up to game... Would you rather have an unknown guy come in? Who, like who? Like, I don't think it would be an unknown. No, that's I think the thing. it would like, be yeah. going after a big fish. You'd have to, you have to take that next step. And that, that may also be part of it, too. And I'm not saying, I, I believe that Bill Guerin wants Dean to be the coach. But also, if the replacement isn't out there, stick with what we got. Yeah. yeah. Creed Bratton. I mean, Mike Babcock is looking for work, so. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, just, we're not, I don't know how I feel about that. Cat's definitely got my tongue now. I'm not. <laughs> that, yeah, I'm, um, we're going to plead the fifth on that one. Uh, pleading the fifth. Oh, man. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Again, we will be back with even more fun with incredible collaboration beers from Drecker Brewing, all popping out of Drecker Fest 9. Drecker Fest. <laughs>